Good morning. Time now is 814. Zika posing a global health emergency that's on the same level as Ebola. So Dr. Ahmad Balouni, he's a pediatrician at Sharp Chula Vista. He's here to explain more. Doctor, good morning and thank you for being here. Thank you for having you know, me. We've been talking about this on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. and every time that this topic comes back on the news, it's becoming more and more serious and so quickly. Right. How did we go from where it was two weeks ago where we just started hearing about this to now where it's just so scary and alarming? Well, I mean, nothing really changed in the last two weeks. It's just the number of cases keeps growing. And so a couple of days ago, the, the World Health Organization declared this a global health emergency, which means that we're going to put a lot more money and focus into trying to stop the spread of the virus. You say nothing has changed, but when this first came out, it was, oh, there's a Zika virus. Pregnant women don't travel to these areas. Be careful. Wear long sleeve clothing. Now they're saying it's just spreading explosively and the warnings are very, very serious. So it seems like a lot has changed in two weeks. Right, and I mean, you know, Zika virus has actually been around. It was first discovered in 1947. So doctors have always known that it causes kind of like a mild illness. Uh, the thing that's new in the past nine months or so is that we're finding a link between it and microcephaly, which is like small head growth in babies, and mm -hmm. that's the concerning thing. Okay, when we talk about uh, those babies, a girlfriend of mine, uh, I was just mentioning, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm expecting, she's expecting it well. She messaged me, said, I have a trip to Mexico in March. Do you think I should go? And I said, well, you know, based on the things that we're hearing, I don't really think it's a good idea. Is How serious for those mamas that are pregnant right now that are watching here in the United States and they want to travel, summer's coming up, right. how serious should they be taking these warnings right now? Very seriously. I mean, you know, I, I think a good thing to do if, if you're pregnant and you're planning a trip anywhere to South America, the Caribbean, uh, parts of Central America, is to look at the CDC website that has pretty much a live, updated, daily thing of how much Zika virus there is in each country. The current recommendation is that if you're pregnant and you're traveling to a, a high-risk country, mm -hmm. maybe to not travel, and if you really have to travel, to take steps to avoid mosquito bites. I've wondered this uh, myself here at home. What is the risk here in the United States? Have they found any uh, actual mosquitoes here that have infected people here, pregnant women here, and can you travel in the United States, Hawaii, if you're pregnant? So the good news is there has been no cases in the United States that have been transmitted with what we call locally, which is mean which means through that area. There's been cases where someone travels to, you know, South America, comes back and has Zika virus, but there hasn't been any cases where a pregnant woman's got it from the United States. So as of now, the continental United States, excluding Puerto Rico, is safe. So can we go to Hawaii? Yes. Hawaii is safe. Yes. What are doctors, what are people like you and uh, the World Health Organization, other people looking at now at this stage that we're a few weeks into this with all the warnings? Do you see it's spreading here. Is this a concern in your practice? There's a chance that it spreads here, honestly, because, you know, some parts of the United States do have the same mosquitoes that are able to carry the virus. And the reason why we're getting this message out isn't actually to scare people, it's to inform people. You know, the best thing we could do in terms of health is education. And if people know that Zika virus exists, know what countries it is, know what steps to prevent it, and know that if they come back from those countries that feel sick to see a doctor, then we could start to get more data and prevent these. Things. Before I let you go, when you say if you travel to any of those countries and you feel sick, can you just give us like the, the basic symptoms that someone should be concerned and then contact a medical professional? Sure. Zika virus as, it's, as an infection isn't actually too bad. It's a, a low-grade fever, like 100, 101. Um, you get joint pain and like a rash, so very similar to a, a lot of viral illnesses. Mm -hmm. And like I said, what we're actually worried about is pregnant women and the, and the effect on their baby. Okay, so if you're pregnant and you're experiencing those things, you need to contact. Well, I would say anyone because what we the reason why we're so like upfront about this message, yes. we're on the news delivering these messages, is because even if you're a male, we don't want you coming back to the United States getting bit by a mosquito you know, while who, you have the virus. Who and can then, then transfer yeah, it exactly. to someone else? All right, uh, Dr. Baloney, thank you for being here. Really good information. Uh, Eight nineteen, Raul, we'll get it over to you.